All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, we're doing kind of a, a little bit of a special video, I guess, because truth be told, I didn't really expect to make this or anything. But I mean, given what happened, it's just kind of at the point where, of course, I'm going to make a video talking about this, right? So uh, basically, as you can see by the title of this video, this video is about somebody by the name of Nadia, okay? And I'm sure, you know, a lot of you probably either don't know who she is or forgot who she is. I don't blame you. The best rundown I can really give for you is she's someone who got like big in the Call of Duty community like two years ago when Warzone was still popping off and everything right she was never really like popular for her like gameplay itself she was popular because everybody clowned on her because they thought she was cheating and whatnot and you know over time as a lot of streamers do she just became less and less relevant I guess she stopped playing COD or whatever she started a fucking OnlyFans account or the it's a competitor to OnlyFans it's the same thing you know same song and dance uh, and, and ever since then right it's just been kind of like a downward spiral so this is all I guess started with the whole Pokimane thing right which I didn't want to make another video talking about this because honestly I already did two discussing why you know people were mad in the first place and then the reaction to the entire thing it's kind of over with at that point I mean yeah Pokimane put out a forced apology last night and you know oh it wasn't my intention to make fun of anybody that's kind of the end of it right like that's just the situation as it is so of course uh where does this all start though how does she get involved with the whole Pokemane thing. Well, it starts with a tweet that I can only say is this is like the only thing people can use to defend in this situation, right? Nobody can actually address any of the real arguments at hand. No one can actually address any of the real points that anyone's made about why this cookie situation was even something to talk about. It's just a well, what about this kind of situation, right? Where, you know, distract away from why everybody's talking about this. So you guys have people like Neon, Jack, Sneeko, who average thousands of viewers and do nothing nothing but spread negativity and harass people in public, but when a girl sells cookies, that's when y'all want to speak out? The immense hatred towards women on the internet is unhinged. All right, so uh, before we even go any further, I I will agree with her, I guess, on that last sentence, okay? The immense hatred towards women on the internet is unhinged. Because truth be told, there are some situations where female creators and streamers or whatever can just get the shit end of the stick from people just because they're a girl or whatever, right? Like, that definitely happens to a certain extent. This is not one of those instances, though, right? Like, people had a very legitimate concern with this and people were... I feel like making pretty valid criticisms that didn't revolve around her being a woman. But of course, to people like this, you know, you can't actually address the substance of the argument. You can't actually talk about, you know, what people are even talking about. Because then you realize that you look like a fucking idiot. So, I mean, uh, this is where it all started. Right? This was a controversial tweet in and of itself because it's stupid. I mean, let's just call it for what it is here, right? So, it all kind of starts, I guess, my involvement in it with this. Why are you hiding replies that aren't even being hateful towards you or anyone else? Is it because you're afraid that they're right? And uh, basically, I was just pointing out that under this tweet she made, uh, there was a bunch of hidden replies. Now, of course, some of them were, I guess, like what you'd consider toxic trolls or whatever, you know, like, oh, go screw yourself, stupid bitch, get back in the kitchen, right? You know, I can understand not wanting to see that or whatever, or just being like, yeah, these people don't, you know, need to be there. But... I just screenshotted like three perfect examples of people not being sexist, not being hateful, just, you know, bringing up like a counterpoint. And she hid these replies from being viewed because they were critical of her viewpoint and they actually made sense. So, you know, pretty simple, okay? And then I also had another tweet. This one was retweeted back toward my audience, right? And it's because if there's one thing I dislike in the content creator community, it's these people who are complete fucking hypocrites. And they don't actually stand on anything, right? And that's like 95 maybe percent of creators and streamers and whatnot, right? These people don't actually believe the shit that they say. They don't believe anything that they're actually, you know, supposedly espousing or whatever, right? That's why none of them will ever actually skirt the line and, you know, put anything at risk to, you know, stand up for what they believe in. And if you know anything about Nadia, right, uh, it's kind of ironic that she's talking about spreading negativity and, and, and whatnot, right, and, you know, being an asshole online and harassing people, being, you know, just mean on stream and whatnot, right? If you know anything about her, uh, Nadia's probably biggest moment uh, so far was when she 
doxed a troll donation on PayPal slash her stream. So basically, I guess somebody donated her like five bucks and was giving her a troll comment or whatever. And she didn't like it. And she realized they had a business account that had their first and last name attached to it. And so on stream in front of her whole audience, she reads off this troll's first and last name because he gave her money to say something stupid. And she got banned off Twitch for a few days because of violating their TOS by doing this. She had to put out a whole apology video about this whole thing, right? And then, you know, earlier this year after she kind of fell off and, you know, wasn't big in the COD community anymore and no one really cared about her streams anymore, she uh, started trying to get into a beef with Activision Blizzard, accusing them of being sexist because they wouldn't fly out somebody who nobody in the COD community gives a fuck about anymore to play the game. So, of course, you know, it was sexist that she didn't get flown out. So, she is literally, like, the epitome of online negativity, right? Like, when it comes down to it all here. I can't really think of anything more negative than, like, doxing somebody for trolling you by giving you money. You know, I, I don't know. But was my tweet maybe a little harsh? I guess you could say so, right? I, I don't know. Uh, if, to me, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I mean, it's just kind of the truth, you know? It's just kind of factual information. If that hurts your feelings, I don't really know what to tell you. But uh, she then starts responding, and it's kind of funny because she immediately just fucking right out the gate just throws it all down the drain. So saying someone's first and last name isn't doxing. It's public information within the terms and conditions of PayPal. If the user didn't want to share it, should have made a business account. Crazy to see harassment being protected over that one being harassed due to anonymity. All right, so apparently harassment is when somebody gives you like a $5 donation and says something like, oh, go back to the kitchen, or you're a fucking cheater, or something stupid, right? That is harassment to these people. It's incredible, right? Because at the same time that these people argue that women face like just this horrific shit in the industry, right? You know, they, they can't, there's just so much immense hatred for women online. I mean, my life has been threatened hundreds, if not thousands of times in comments. I've, I've had tens, if not maybe even at this point, hundreds of thousands of comments across YouTube, you know, just saying horrible shit about me and my videos and whatnot, right? But you don't see me sitting around bitching and crying about how horribly harassed I am. Imagine going to somebody who like has to fucking, you know, Know, work on an oil rig or something, you know, doing like real hard work, digging trenches and being like, man, I I'm harassed because somebody gave me $5 and made a fucking derogatory joke. That look at how harassed and fucking oppressed I am, right? So she like shows the terms of service of PayPal, which doesn't back up her point, but she's not smart enough to realize that because doxing someone doesn't inherently mean that it has to be private information. All it really is, is just taking some sort of information that wasn't previously like universally known and then just just using it in like, I guess, exposing it or whatever in a way that is, you know, meant to harass, intimidate, incite fear, something like that, right? Which, I mean, it's clear as day that's what she did. She didn't read the guy's fucking first and last name off on stream for literally just because, you know, that, that's not how that happens. So yeah, taking somebody's uh, PayPal name and then reading it off to your stream voluntarily when that's not part of the job requirement at all, that's doxing, okay? That's exactly what it is. I mean, if somebody fucking read her first and last name off in a situation like this, She'd be fucking crying about how she's harassed and how her life is being threatened. But now it's a uh, victim blaming time because, you know, the guy who got doxxed, well, he shouldn't have had his name on the account. And so I made this tweet where, you know, I say, wild way to try to defend this. If you did nothing wrong, why did you make an entire apology video about it? Uh, you just openly admitted that your apology was complete bullshit. Nothing about you is legitimate. You don't actually have any real opinion. Nothing you say should be taken seriously. You're begging for impressions because that's all you can do. And I, I think that this kind of set her off a little bit. I think this one really kind of got under her skin in a pretty more serious way, right? Because then she makes a pretty big mistake, right? She starts admitting, you know, things like, oh, the apology's old or whatever, right? Your PR team's on my ass. Uh, your response is just this old apology video. You're dismissing my point. You're, 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 dur, dur, dur. Okay, so apparently this is too hard for people to comprehend, right? Like, this is just like fucking, I don't know, astrophysics, okay? If you did nothing wrong, and you feel like you were, like, justified because this guy's name was on his PayPal account or whatever, then why did you make an apology video? Okay? The, the only logical, rational explanation for why you would make an apology video and still think that you weren't in the wrong is because you were trying to pander to people. You wanted people to think you were sorry. You wanted people to think that you really, you know, oh, I, I didn't mean to do this. It was a moment of weakness or whatever, right? That way, people would stop shitting on you. 
That way Twitch would unban you for violating their terms of service. That way your reputation could be scraped back up off the fucking floor, okay? Now, if she had just openly admitted this and said this, I think that might have just been kind of based, right? Like, it would have it looked a lot better for her, I will say that. But, of course, you know, instead of just openly admitting it, she continues to try and, you know, press this argument she can't win. Because she lost it within her first tweet, so... So, I basically just cook her on that point, right? Like, what I just told you, uh, here in this whole thing. And it, you'll notice in her tweets, uh, sometimes she keeps calling me big boy, okay? I, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what her fucking obsession is with calling men critiquing her big boy. I don't know if that's, like, some sort of, like, psychological, my father wasn't in my life, like, Oedipus complex kind of thing going on there, right? I don't know what that is, but it's kind of weird. Like, she apparently thinks I'm fucking part of Outcast or, I, like, I'm some sort of burger chain or something. I really don't know what the fuck's going on here, but obviously she can't address that point, right? She can't address saying that because then it makes her look stupid, so. And then she makes the biggest slip up she could have possibly made here, right? She admits that her PR team made her make the apology video, so. It turns out that when, you know, she apologized for the biggest controversy of her career that got her banned off Twitch for several days, dragged her reputation through the mud, you know what I mean, made her look like a fucking asshole, the whole apology for that was false, it was fake, and it was generated essentially by her PR team. She didn't actually feel like she did anything wrong, she wasn't actually sorry, she just lied to everybody because, of course, that's the only thing she could do. How else should, like, how else can you pander for money, you know? Like, I mean, if you continue to act like, oh, you know, I, I'm based for this, I didn't do anything wrong, you still look like a shithead, right? So, of course, you know, you gotta have your PR team come cook for you. So, this right here proves my whole point in the first place, right? Like, people like this, who are inauthentic, have no real opinion, don't know what the fuck they're talking about, probably shouldn't be giving their opinions on things. They love to do so. And then when you give them even the slightest amount of pushback, they fall the fuck apart. Because everything about people like Nadia is just fake. There's no real personality. There's no real person there. It's a fucking con... It's like a convoluted mess of a PR team, someone trying to play a character and failing to do so, and whoever else is in her ear telling her that this is cool. This is not a creator you're watching. This is a fucking, you know, a very complex display, essentially, is what this is. So... And then she kept hinging really hard on this, like, terms and conditions point on PayPal, where it's like, oh, well, me reading off this name that wasn't public to my stream but was private in my PayPal transactions is not doxing, because the guy had his first name and last name on the account. Okay, so if someone found, like, her Facebook, right, you know, her private Facebook or whatever, and they found, like, her first and last name and spread it all over the place and was telling everybody this shit and sharing links and whatnot, would that not be considered doxing? I'm confused. I mean, you put your name on the account, you know, you, you put yourself out there, fuck it. I guess that doesn't make the fact that you maliciously spread that guy's information as a get back for a fucking troll donation doesn't make it any weird, right? You know, it's just something that you do. And then she tells me to shut the fuck if I can't respond to the fact. Uh, apparently, Call of Duty has fried her fucking brain so much that four word phrases are impossible to get together now so she started going on about all oh, succeeding and all this other stupid shit right oh i'll just keep on succeeding i'll just keep on doing this and so i had to pull out some more receipts for her real quick because you know google is free and you figure people know that that google is free and you can like look shit up before you say it but some people genuinely aren't smart enough to do that so once again, I had to tell the truth, okay? And not even just about the definition of doxing and shit like that, but just about her in general, right? Because, you know, she's succeeding so much. She's succeeding so much that the only three things she's known for, I'll say four, only four things she's known for is being made fun of for being a woman, uh, being accused of cheating in a video game two years ago, crying because the company wouldn't give her free flights and shit, because she doesn't play the game anymore, and who failed at what she was doing and resorted to fucking OnlyFans, right? So, I mean, let's not, you know, go into the, the in and outs about success here, right? Because it's definitely subjective. She then, I guess, like, looked up on Google if doxing is doxing, if the info is public, uh, or, like, illegal. I don't know. I don't even know what she actually searched, but as you can see, it doesn't do anything to benefit her point, because it says... Is it doxing if the info is public? I'm assuming that's what she looked up, right? And then the paraphrased info says, the answer is usually no, doxing tends not to be illegal if the information exposed lies within public domain and it was obtained using legal methods. That said, depending on your jurisdiction, doxing may fall foul of laws designed to fight stalking, harassment, and threats, okay? So she looks up if the info is public, if it's doxing, gets an answer about whether or not doxing is illegal, and then paraphrases that as her response, even though it doesn't even fucking talk any about 
anything she said, right? And she's so stupid that she confidently posted that, okay? Those two to three sentences were too fucking much for her to read. Keep in mind, we were never talking about whether or not doxing was illegal. We were talking about whether or not her spreading someone's first and last name maliciously from a PayPal donation uh, in spite was doxing, okay? And whether or not that that was morally acceptable. But of course, she's not smart enough to actually realize that. She's not smart enough to actually respond to what's being asked or said, so... Then this moron continues to try and defend it as if, like, she was right. I I'm confused. Like, I I'm just, I'm actually confused. I don't know. It, it blows my mind just looking back on it because, like, you're reading this and you realize this is somebody who, like, can vote. You know, this is somebody who can obtain a driver's license, somebody who can, like, reproduce and raise children in this society, and they're not even smart enough to read shit that they quote for themselves. Like, I, I, I don't know. So I did her a favor, okay, because this is apparently too hard for somebody to do, right? Is I, I went ahead and I re, kind of like, I reverse searched, I guess, what she just asked. And I found the initial source that she, like, cited here, right? And I decided to actually, you know, do what people should do when they research something. I clicked the link to the source that she was citing, right? And I actually read the page. And so as you can see from this screenshot that I also tweeted, the whole fucking thing was just not anything she should have been citing. I mean, you can see what was paraphrased in the second paragraph here, and you can read the entire rest of all the information around it, and never once does it discuss if doxing people is based on public info. It's literally all about legality. So she wasn't even smart enough to click the fucking link that she just cited as, like, evidence for her point. The, the thing she quoted was actually proof in my favor, okay? It, it actually helped my argument. So, of course, now that she realizes this, and she's been ratio and fucking cooked on every single tweet that she put out despite having three times the amount of followers I have and playing the oh I'm a poor female getting harassed fucking card right she decided to start deleting all of the tweets that made her look like a complete moron okay that's pretty interesting because she was so confident the entire time how right she was you know she was calling me you know shut the fuck up you know she called me a nerd at one point and whatnot and just like just goofy like lame shit right just trying to like do whatever she could to like make this go for her right and it just never worked because she was wrong from the jump and she wasn't smart enough to realize that she was arguing with somebody it, it wasn't really a fair matchup from the beginning right but then she resorts to i guess the only card that anyone who ever can critique me uh has to go to she says, be live soon, drops a link to this re-upload of like a four-year-old cringy shitty video I made. She ats me in it as if like, you know, I'm supposed to be shaking in my fucking boots that this video that's been public for fucking years and that's a re-upload of all the other re-uploads and whatnot of it that I've never done anything about, right? Like I was supposed to be quaking in my boots or something. And keep in mind, the only reason that this is now brought up is because she lost the argument and she looked like a complete fucking moron, you know? She, she, she couldn't actually argue what was going on and she actually lost when she tried to do that and to the point where she was getting destroyed in her own comments and everything and so this is you know the road we got to go down here now because you know you can't actually win the argument against me this is your last hail mary like last ditch effort or whatever to try and get to gotcha on you right and it didn't even work out well for her because like when i retweeted this and was like lol this is a last ditch effort this video is a perfect representation of everyone who pays your only fans bill you were crying earlier about pulling up old apology videos and now you're pulling up a video that's five times as old as yours because you lost the argument you look like a fucking goofball. Then all of a sudden she started deleting this tweet and then tried to keep like rephrasing it and rewriting it and whatnot so that her audience of cringy simps and whatnot would like I guess hype her up and back her up. But funny enough even though this like Hail Mary effort she tried you know got thrown up in the air it didn't work. Actually, in fact, she had to delete the post about it like four different times because she kept getting ratioed and destroyed by everybody who was making fun of her for this. So then after this, she deleted pretty much any reference to the entire conversation, changed her profile picture, blocked me on Twitter and uh, basically hid. So I guess I, to wrap it up, right? Uh, would I rather, you know, upload that fucking cringy video a thousand times over again and remake it and upload it a thousand times over again rather than be some washed up former COD streamer who had to resort to fucking, you know, OnlyFans accounts and clout chasing, clickbaity fucking Twitter impression farming to keep my bills paid, which would I rather do? 
I think I got a pretty good idea of which I'd rather do. I mean, be cringy four years ago in a bad video that went bad, or sell yourself for the same price as a medium combo meal at an American fast food joint on the internet. I mean, w which one's really more embarrassing and bad? I don't really know. But anyway, with that being said, I, I just wanted to, you know, come on here and clear the air a little bit, right? Because apparently, you know, that had to be done. So anyway, with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubTheOptimus. Uh, you're definitely not going to be missing any thing if you uh, follow me over on Twitter. Uh, but uh, if you are a new follower, I will remind you, do not turn on your notifications on Twitter. Not a good idea. So uh, with that also being said, uh, make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, uh, buying Nadia's OnlyFans and signing out.